So welcome for another World Cup. The, the players are already in, so I'm going to go very quickly through the, the deck list. We have uh, on one side the... Oh, sorry, I made a mistake in the title. It's not... Yeah, yeah, sorry. Um, Crane, uh, Philippine players against a Dragon French player. Uh, Crane is on uh, Kin Kakita, Super of the Unicorn. So he's obviously splashing Unicorn for 3 Gaging Customs, 3 Favored Mount, 3 Spyglass, and 3 Wayfinder. That's a lot of Unicorn cards. The Restricted card being Policy Debate, so we're going to see some kind of... Uh, I'm participating in every conflict Toshimoko deck. And on the other side, we have a traditional Dragon Monk Void Fist deck uh, with um, Keeper of Water roll, Crab Splash for uh, 2 Skirmish for 3 Reprieve, 3 Fight, I'm sorry about that. There is the one of Assassination um, and the Restricted card being obviously Void Fist. So we see... Dragon playing first with Swordsmith 2 Fate and then passing, while Crane play a Brush Samurai 2 Fate. So if you have an assassination here as um, as the Dragon player, it's going to be tricky to play it on this Brush Samurai because um, okay, using Smallsmith getting a Finger of Jade. Uh, I think I think Crane has no no assassination, right? Yeah, we saw none of them. So th this Swordsmith is totally fine. You're super happy about the palace as a dragon player here because it's going to negate the favor to the crane player as much as possible. So that's a very good one. Uh, you probably, yeah, passing your conflict. This way, if you have the assassination and crane goes with the samurai, you can instantly kill it, which would be very, very good starts. So crane also passes his conflict. Now, I think as dragon with four fate in bank, you're happy to pass the second one. Yeah, that's what he does. So no crane has to attack or pass. I would say that if Crane passes, uh, Crane, if Crane passes, then Dragon is the winner of this first round. Had more fate in bank, one more card because of the Swordsmith trigger. Takes the favor, yeah. And Crane does not really want to attack because he does not want to get this summary assassinated. <clears throat> So next turn, uh, going into the next round, Dragon will be second player. Keeping the Investigator, I think that's good. Like against Crane, you want to be investigating. Throwing away the annoying cards from his hand is really good. That's a really, really good card. Crane keeps the Scoots. Um, that's a card we, we've been seeing less and less in Crane, but I think in, in the Dragon matchup is really good. Because blanking Dragon Provinces allows you to go blind and just try to find what you want to attack at the right timing. Uh, Crane getting the palace is good because now Dragon also has to fight for the favor. So yeah, Crane plays the Scoot with two fates. Uh, now as Dragon you want to assassinate the Scoot if you can. Or keep the assassination for later. Or just don't play it if you don't have it. But I think you're, you're happy if you can assassinate that. But it's going to be harder now. Well, actually, if Crane goes now and you and you have the assassination, assassination is gonna fall for sure. Uh, see, investigator four fates, dude. Yeah, that's that's going to be a sticky investigator. Um, Uh, we see way of the crane honoring the scoots, and now if dragon cannot assassinate it safely anymore, because you could get voiced. Uh, I don't think he has a censure. No, it doesn't. So you just literally can't assassinate there. So yeah, going with the Scoot is safe, finding the Midnight Rovals. That's actually good for the Dragon player, because the province was blank anyway. 
So scoot blank in the blank provinces. Not a problem. Defending with the swordsmith, I guess the idea is just to make it more expensive for the the crane player to try to break with your fan, so now he gets the break. You see a steal of the dragon, so we're gonna see a void fist here. Uh, as Dragon Hill, now you have to defend that because if uh, if the Crane player gets the Void Ring to fire, then you you lose your fate on that Swordsmith, and because you invested attachments on it, um, it would be nice that you don't lose it. You can punch to cycle and draw a card so it doesn't break anymore. Another fine katana, okay. No, that scoot is a really juicy assassination target, but you really don't. You can't afford to do that. If you Void Fist and the Crane player cancels the Void Fist, uh, you might want to try. So we see a plus two on the defender, plus one on the defender. Okay, that's that's a bit an <clears throat> that's a bit intriguing because. We know he has a finger of chain, so he probably prefers to keep it for something else. But like not putting a second attachment before using the plus one is weird, and that seal is not gonna leave, and that's Wayfinder finding the restoration of balance under the palace. Okay. No, no, it's not under the yeah, it's under the palace. So that's not where you want the palace to be actually, but is yeah. Because no can crane can just try to break this palace throwing cards. <clears throat> and if you get the break you don't care about the province being restoration. Because you threw away your cards to break it. Okay, we see another Eurican punch to prevent the break. So because of the double Uriken there, Dragon is two cards up, which is good. I mean, he's four, he, he has cycled two cards, which allows him to have four card advantage overall. He spent a bit less, so that's that's really good for him. This Dragon deck is really hungry on cards, like you, because you want to threaten the Void Fist, you have to play two cards quite often, and you have to be able to do it, so it's a lot of cards. So yeah, we see a Void Ring, so, so he, he defends the break, but... Uh, the source misses what he did. Like, um, the defense from the dragon player is good. I just think that this seal has been expanded a bit early. That might be a tell that he has another one. <clears throat> so we see a finger of jade on the investigator. That's good. Uh, train plate Fumiki. When did he play Fumiki? Right now, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think as Dragon you can't really go there because if you find uh, the Magistrate Station you're in a really bad spot. You're pretty happy to be defending. Uh, what do you do as Crane here? Like, no, you, you played the Fumiki, so you have to go, right? Like, you, you could just not have played her and, and like, pass through conflicts. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can, you can still pass and get the favor, but you would have had the same effect, like, without playing the Fumiki, right? So playing that Fumiki was a mistake. Um... I think going there for the dragon player might not be a good idea. If you find if you find magistrate, you affect. Okay, upholding authority. So that's good. That's a very good province to farm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Let's play station or not station. Yeah. That that's that's the very fun part about the crane province rule, right? Flip a coin to lose the game. Well, not necessarily always lose it, but in this situation, that would be pretty bad. So 
So we see a brush samurai to defend, we're gonna see brush in the ring himself. Still not winning the conflict now. Uh, especially, yeah, we're gonna see the investigation. That's the reason why Dragon wanted that conflict. It feels super bad to pay an investigator and not use it. Uh, no, we see the voice of Honor going out and there is no more counsel. So if you have the assassination, you get rid of the squid instantly. It's a bit surprising that Fumiki did not defend. Uh, oh yeah, he has no Dizuno card in hand, okay. That's not a great hand for yeah yeah I agree rip two fate two attachment script like if you if you have an assassination as the dragon period here it's a huge mistake not to play it but he might he might not have it obviously because he has only one in the deck so half your deck your fifty percent chance to have it or a slightly bit more if you mulligan for it but but I'm not sure he mulligan for that. I'm quite sure he didn't move again for the assassination. Um, yeah, putting Fumiki to prevent the break. Um, oh, there is the assassination on the Fumiki. Uh, actually, well, why not, I would say, but... Like, no, you're gonna break that up holding. I mean... I don't know. It feels good to break Crane's Palace, but at the same time, it feels pretty bad to give him the upholding trigger when you have a 10, 10 cards hand. And, and I mean, this Scoot was so juicy to assassinate. I think that's a mistake to assassinate Fumiki rather than the Scoot. Especially you saw your opponent's hand. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe he has a crappy hand, like that, that would justify the choice. Yeah, okay, that justifies the choice. But you have a court game, so you actually assassinate the scoot and play the court game. So that's... Yeah, yeah, you just assassinate scoot, play the court games, and you have the same results. You get the break, because, like, Crane lose two in defense. The scoot is dead. And... And you still oh three copies of fight on, on on the that's not that's not that's not what I would call a polding proof like literally not yeah I agree totally agree like I would have assassinated the scoots and and just pass like let the crane defend that. Well, no, he has a big investigator. That's oh, and, and there is the big Mitsu. Okay, well, that's Dragon is still is in a pretty good spot despite this upholding trigger, but on the long run, those uh, yeah, he used the reprieve to keep the swordsmith into play. Uh, on the long run, uh, those free fighting might be missing, and um, and I really don't like this uh, one fate scoot with two Ketana. Yeah, yeah, he definitely decided, yeah, I agree with you, he decided to go aggressive because on the long run, uh, he's going to play against a tower game, a, a tower deck, and and he wants to apply pressure, especially because his deck is not too good to apply pressure early, so he, he jumped on the occasion he had. But like, free fight on is a huge loss. Yeah, we saw the famous 4 fate Mitsu coming in. And he's going to pass and have the free fate from the Earth Ring. Do you pass as Crane to deny the passing fate? Like, you don't have too much good things in the row. I think you need to play the Kazin, right? Yeah. Four fate Kazin. So that, that's going to be the Crane Tower. Which is unfortunate because Mitsu is going to cover it every time relevant. I still think like losing this free fight on is bad, but it's like yeah, four fate Kazin is definitely weaker than four fate Mitsu. Totally agree about that. So no dragon. As dragon, you go earth, earth military. The problem is now you don't know where to go because 
you took a break on a province that was literally blank. So, hello, there isn't there. You, you took the break on a blank province. So, well, not blank, but one you could farm peacefully. I know you have to play very station with 30% chance rather than 25. Well, not chance, risk, I would say. Uh, I think not. No, there isn't one. Yeah, the crane deck is really interesting. Like there is literally no kill into the, in the deck. It's all about building a tower, putting it in all conflicts, which didn't really start in the right way there. Yeah, shameful display is not that bad, except that you lose three strength with your Mitsu, which is always bad. Finger of Jade, so now we can hit the Shameful without any problem, I guess. Uh, I think that was for you, Shoot. I don't think that comment was for me. So yeah, we saw Mitsu going in, Earth, that makes sense, that's the best play you can do. I guess you covered... Um, Disagree about covering the scoot here. I would have covered the... Oh, interesting. Here is the station. Oh yeah, that's why you covered the scoot, obviously. Sorry, that makes sense. But then you defend with the brush some, right? Oh, which is obviously much easier to avoid fist than the scoot. Okay, that was for me. Then I don't get the... <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure I get the joke then. Yeah, we see an all-in defense for Crane, which makes sense, like you just want this station to stay alive, possibly forever. That's your bread and butter province, so you want it to stay alive. Uh, Kazin is a dualist also, so the dojo can, can help. Uh, I would honestly prefer not to have to play your Crane game, like, if possible. Obviously, if I have to, I will. And I've trained a bit with Crane like three weeks ago, not to feel too ridiculous if I have to. So we see Banzai and Kazin. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Like, you just have to. Flip Palace and Shameful display first turn with Toshimoku on favorable ground, and then you just win the game, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna need you to teach me how to do that, by the way. A voice on the bonsai from Dragons. Um... That's annoying because you. Oh. oh okay crane crane voice what happened there like crane voiced his own bonsai yeah <laughs> that was that was a weird mistake yeah yeah he, he just he just thought that that was dragon bonsai in response to his <clears throat> So Dragon being really kind and allowing, and allowing Crane to, to retake that. But no, they have to pay attention because there is a plus two strength on, on the Crane player's side on Kazin. That's going to mess everything. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like a reflex voice. <laughs> like, oh, he does something, let's voice it. I'm on Magistrate Station. <laughs> Okay, so Mitsu get bowed by Kaizen duel. I mean, you just pass as dragon, right? 
you can't do much there. And there we see the magic of magistrate station starting to kick in, like. We're going to stand that case in. Yeah, you have to break it in pool. Agree about that. But I guess Crane can probably defend it in political. It's not sure, but it's possible. It's going to be hard though, because like if uh, if Dragon has a uh, another steel, then that investigator is going to monk you away with a void fist, and and you're not going to be able to do much about that because it's already two voice expanded well one expanded and one discard and one invest oh no there is one investigated and he we know he has another one uh yeah breaking or not here is key for the rest of the game i think uh yeah you just let that break you don't care you want to break the magistrate station like you, you can't afford to defend that you need the break on the station and see that that's why I, I I like even less the upholding authority break is that it forced you into somewhere else and you ended up finding a uh, station. Uh, I think I think if if Crane lose the station there, Crane lose the game. I agree with your your statement. I don't think I don't think you can stand that. Like the the dragon board is already much better than yours. Uh, you've got Brash Wayfinder leaving. Your Scoot is dead for just one more turn. Uh, why not taking Void as Dragon here? Like, you just take Void and get rid of the Scoots, I would say. That would be better. Uh, it's going to be difficult to win that conflict and prevent the break for Crane here. Like, you will have to dump a lot of attachment on that casing. I could be... Oh, well, you could have dualist training. That would help a lot. That's probably what you need to have here. But then Dragon can let that go. Which you need to cancel with the voice. Yeah, there is the dualist running. We're going to see the let go. Yeah, there it is. And we're going to see a voice here. Yeah. So no crane used dualist trainings. And magistrate doesn't break. And no dragon is in trouble. Well, there is a finger of Jade on the on the investigator actually. So yeah, you finger yeah, yeah, sorry, I totally forgot about the finger. Like you just you just use the finger on the tool and you keep your let go so that if you have another let go, you keep it so that if Crane drops another drills training, you immediately let go the second drills training. So like there you use your finger. Yeah. <clears throat> uh I guess you stronghold your investigator. Okay, yeah, using it is also good, definitely. Yeah, it's better to use it, actually, because you can throw away the, the voice if there's another one, and then afterwards you stronghold. And you can throw away your voice, you can throw away your dualist training, you can throw away maybe spy glasses if there are some. Uh, you can see that Dragon did smartly kept the Swordsmith back to defend a potential political conflict after that if Crane wants to play a Genshin custom. I think that's good because uh, one way or another that Swordsmith would probably have done really little in this conflict. Uh, this card to Genshin custom. Okay, interesting. Uh, would have chosen a Spyglass, honestly. Spyglass helps defending that conflict. And also over time, it's going to bring you much more value than the gauge in custom. Like on a full fate character, the Spyglass is much more effective. Uh, crane. Did you station already that turn, right? 
yeah. So you will have to expand the gauge in Piston. Uh, yeah, it's, it's still not a bad discard. I, I just said I would have chosen otherwise, but obviously I'm not the player playing the game there. It's just I, I would have done a different choice. But I think that one is still a pretty valid one. I'm not criticizing telling it's not a correct one. Like discarding a mount probably would have been a very bad choice, for example. But but customs is still is still a good a decent choice there. So we see a wayfinder. <clears throat> He's probably played two spyglass, so that's gonna be plus two. We're gonna be nine against seven. And then Dragon is going to stronghold the investigator. Mm, yeah. Not sure about that tool. Because, yeah, I don't understand that duel. It literally has no effect. But removing one of your strengths from the conflict, so now it's still breaking. No, no story defeat. That's why I don't understand that duel. Like, there, he has literally nothing to supply his dual actions. To support, sorry, the, the dual actions. Yeah, it's it's a bit weird. Um, yeah, maybe he just thought, okay, I I played the wayfinder in the conflict, and it's just 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 let send it home. But like, it gives him another conflict, I guess. But I'm not even sure he can win it, and, and he had it anyway with the gauge in customs. So yeah, that, that that's a bit weird. Um, also, why not dumping the spy glasses here on Kaizen? Like, if you want to try to defend that, spy glasses gives political strength. So. Just try to force Dragon to expand the stronghold so that at least you have a chance to do some. Well, it's political, so you're not going to do anything with your conflict anyway, because you you will be one against three. So no way you do anything with this political strength. So there we see the, the station falling and probably the crane player with it. There's no we have. Um, <clears throat> that, that's a keeper role because he's support of the unicorn. So. We're gonna have a fire fire provisions was magistrate earth, so we're gonna have a manicured somewhere here, a shameful, and then we're gonna have an earth uh, mm, what, oh yeah the the revels maybe under the the box yeah revel revels under the box and uh and manicured and shameful in the row. Yeah, the fact also that he has two less cadenas after and that's why I said I that's why I said I disagree with the fire the, the fire ring there. Like I would say I would have taken void to get rid of that scoot because he he has like a lot of military strength and once that's out, uh it's two cadenas that obviously don't go on your tower as you said, but it's also military strength that you won't be able to put to a void a void fist when it's gonna matter. And with Mitsu, it's going to matter at some point. Like, there is already a big Mitsu on board, so... On the other side, he was maybe afraid that if he let the Fire Ring for the Crane player, then he would get this Mitsu dishonored. And I know he's... He, he, I know a lot of this player, and he's, like, quite scared about Crane Noble Sacrifice, so he, he has this uh, rooted reflex not to let Fire Ring against Crane. But there is no noble sack in the crane deck here, so that reflex is pretty relevant actually. Um, I see crane going with the case engaging customed. Yeah, it makes sense on the restoration with the air ring. Uh, air ring here is important because you have duels in your deck and you're already only at six owners. So if you want your duel to have like any effect, you need to get some air ring to increase your honor pool uh, on the other side the dragon player is going very likely to keep bidding high because he wants cards so it's a good choice anyway um favored mount okay uh, i think the crane player is just going to unleash his hand 
to avoid getting too much stuff discarded from the restoration, like remove all the duplicates. Oh, well, I truly choose this already, it's not a balding, so it's just going to try to lower his hand size to throw le less cards. Uh, I really don't understand why Crane hasn't been playing the spyglasses. Like, you have two spyglasses in hand, just play them. Doesn't make sense not to play them, right? Unless I'm missing something, but. Especially you gauge in custom that case, and like, just play your two spyglasses before the gauge in custom. Yeah, it's weird, I agree. Like, you have Spyglasses. That, that, that's a card that has value over time. Like, the later you're going to play it, the worse it's going to be because it's a one fate, one card investment, and the more turns it's going to kick in, the better it's going to be. So the later you play them in the game, the less time they will have to be efficient before your stronghold breaks. Uh, I think he won't have the luxury to get a better tower. <laughs> I think that's the best tower target he has before the end of the game. Well, unless he flips a Toshimoko, but like, even then, I think it's pretty irrelevant. Also, um, Nishiko has been telling me that he kind of do not care at all about Toshimoko because of Void Fist, which is understandable. Like for, for some for some decks, the character is really hard to manage. But for some others, like if you can get one more military than Toshimoko, uh, if you can equal military to Toshimoko, then you just don't care at all about him. You just in this specific case, you just void fist him, and and he has no effect. You win the conflict. You take to break. Like it's, I wish you right to do free fate on dragon side. So that's that's pretty relevant. Also, uh, Crane having found having found both restoration and revolts means that in this row below the palace. You can have. Oh no, it's it's a polding. Sorry, I was going to say it. you can have shameful, but it's a polding. So now you have the choice between plus and a polding or shameful naked. Like which one do you take? None of them are really appealing, right? Shameful isn't too good for dragon here because he decided to annoy the Mitsu with the firing. So. Last crane here, uh, yeah, double Maya Mystic is good, I would say. I'm gonna get rid of a few attachments, but that's probably not going to be sufficient. Okay, discard the storehouse to get a card. Uh, what do you do as crane here? Going with Scoot again, I guess. Scoot Void, just for the fates. You don't want to let that two fates. To the dragon player in the next conflict and you go with scoot okay if you go with scoot and you break that it's good because it doesn't trigger so no upholding trigger that that's oh that's the same shameful display okay uh that's rough so the upholding is actually the other one um I guess you just want to defend that as much as possible as Dragon here with the Shameful. Yeah, he's as skill as you, yeah. Yeah, Palace and Shameful is definitely game warping. Like, if you can defend that, it's going to be a nightmare for your opponent. Like, you have to eat it repeatedly and get things punished again and again and again, which means you literally have not to hit it repeatedly. So, if you don't get to break it the first time, then you just have to deal with the fact that your opponent gonna have to favor again and again and again. Especially because Dragon did break... To... Oh, okay, that, that will make more sense, because Dragon did break aggressively Crane Palace on turn 1. Uh, if your Palace is an upholding, um, it's not a bad play, but if your Palace is unshameful, it's a really good play, because it means you, you're never gonna get rid of your Palace voluntarily. So if you can remove the, the, the opponent's one, it means your palace is going to be on all the game. Uncontested if you can defend it. Um, it's Banzai on Raitsugu. After the Banzai of the, on the Scoots. I think, I think you don't care about winning the Void Ring here as Dragon, you just want... You just want the palace not to break. And you cannot really play attachments because of the double Mia Mystic.
Does the ball Mystica going to be really annoying? Yeah, yeah, I think that's the idea. Like you have to push very hard as train, and you have to hope that the dragon player is going to defend your the conflicts and still take breaks, which is pretty unlikely that it happens for a long time. Like it might happen once or twice, but once you hit the stronghold, that's going to be very difficult to ensure because if you cannot break it, then Dragon Player will have the Sacred Sanctuary effect on Mitsu, and I think you pretty much lose on that. Uh, I guess as Dragon here, you need to go political. Uh, I would say it's a mistake for Crane not to have discarded one of the Mia Mystic to remove the Finger of Jade here. Oh, see Manic oh no, no, sorry, because the province remaining are manicured and... Uh, and yeah, and Shameful, so he should have discarded the Finger of Jade just in case Dragon decides to go with Mitsu so that you can Shameful Mitsu. Manicured, and we're gonna see the investigator investigating. Uh, yeah, it's weaker, but he already has a polding. He has a polding, it's been broken first conflict. Uh, stronghold is midnight rebels. Yeah, his support of the unicorn, yeah. <laughs> That's what I said, like he has a keeper role. So defending with case in bowing the investigator. I think as well you don't care, you just like investigate, remove options for the crane player, get hand knowledge, and then next turn you just go back and Hit it again. Uh, what happened here? One spyglass got hit by their nerf ring, right? Yeah. So that's another reason you really... Yeah, yeah. Like, don't play support of the unicorn if you're not going to play your spyglasses. Like, that doesn't make fucking sense. Also, because the dragon player is investigating your hand, do spyglasses have additional value? from the fact they're giving you two new cards that the dragon player do not know about. Does not know about, sorry. Um, yeah, it's, it's really weird. I don't understand, like you have four fates. What, when in the world don't you play the spy glasses? Like, afraid of let go maybe, but there is so much valuable attachments in your deck that's just smash the spy glasses, and they, if they get blood good, then they get light good. Like that, that's the, and then your dualist training will be safe. I mean, it's I usually disagree with that. So there we see the Mia Mystic removing the finger of Jade. Probably should have done it sooner, just in case Dragon goes with. <clears throat> And I actually disagree with the choice of Dragon going with uh, Investigator after the Crane player passing for the Mystics. Like, you should have went with, with Mitsu. Uh, there we see a Polding Authority. Um, guess you don't defend that as a Dragon player? Not too happy, but... Uh, that, that, oh, okay, defense. Uh, disagree with that choice. I usually disagree with that choice. Your first player next turn, like if you if you just get the break on manicure with that Mitsu, then you're in a much better position. And that that's where the fight on are missing. <laughs> Having a fight on there would have been huge. Because you just fight on the investigator and Yeah, exactly. And then you go back with Mitsu. Um, yeah, honestly, here, you would have been in a much better position if a previous conflict you went with Mitsu, trying to get that break on the manicured, and just defending with Investigator. 
rather than doing the opposite. Because Crane didn't uh, mistake the finger of Mitsu, you didn't care about finding Shameful, you just could have discarded the finger to avoid the Shameful effect. Oh, he has a Skirmisher, okay, that's good. Uh, if he has any military boost, we're gonna see that many good garden falling. But like, honestly, why why don't you do that before? You could double cover it with him and Mitsu. You take that break. Uh, yeah, but if uh, you need a, you need an action to bring Kaizen in. So if the if he has the third Banzai, then he just Banzai. Uh, he has three of them, right? Oh, he has only two, and he has expanded the two already. No, it's only one. So if you have a second Banzai, then you just play it on the skirmisher, and then that dual distraining becomes awkward. It's turn action to bring Kaizen in with the mount. So you still have a slot to do something. Yeah, there is the Banzai. Um, yeah, but Crane did a mistake because Crane did take the fate first. So now Dragon has another action. So if he has a katana, you, you smash the katana on the skirmisher. Oh, discard the favorite mount with let go, okay. Why? Th that's really weird. Well, yeah, yeah, agreed. Like, what's happening? Literally, what's happening? Uh, stop discarding the one from the Mia Mystic. Discard the one from Kazen. Like, just... Yeah, yeah, I don't get it either. Like, that let go on the Mia Mystic favorite mount was really weird. I just removed the Vavor Mount from the, the Kazen. Oh, but Kazen's duel has been used already, because uh, he used it on the Investigator. So I said nothing, actually. Yeah, yeah, that, then it's totally okay. The thing is... Oh, and, and we see a Banzai for the, the train player. So that, that province is going to stand, I think. Unless you have a Seal of the Dragon and Void Fist, and then you play your Seal, you Stronghold, and you play your Void Fist. Also, it means you can replay that Void Fist with Mitsu next turn. Uh, yeah, there's still a risk that, that we see the, the province. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Seal of the Dragon. I know Crane needs... Uh, I don't know what Crane needs. Like, you have... You have no more Katana. You have, like... I don't think you have any way to save this province anymore. Yeah. So no, uh, not sure about that strong goal. Like you don't need it. Just void fits first. Are uh, we gonna see a console here? Ah, uh, he can't. He can't, he does not have one, so <laughs> problem solved. Because we saw his hand and there is no voice inside. Yeah, Crane here is in no awful position because... Like, Dragon's first next turn. There's another Skirmisher in the deck, so that could be, do that could be double covered. Kaisen is going to have a hard time dealing with that Mitsu, honestly. I think we saw only one fine Katana for the Dragon player. Yeah, we did. So that Mitsu is going to be huge next turn. And you just smash in with mid. Oh, but it's Midnight Revels, so Dragon needs a Finger of Jade. And he has already expanded two of these. We see Dragon here usually favored by the Emperor for the whole course of the game. <clears throat> Dragon board is still much more impressive than the, the Crane board. Though. So I think as Dragon here, you 
you go first with the investigator, uh, Revolt is going to trigger, and then you defend with your Mitsu, standing him with the Sacred Sanctuary. Oh, no, it's not Sacred. He still has a province to break, so that, that doesn't even work. Um, yeah, D double disagree on the supporting defense on the previous turn. Okay, we see Palace going uh, away. I think that's good. Like, that's the moment where you want the best possible flip. Uh, I think you play Mitsu and Hitomi, I would say. Oh, I'm not even sure. Yeah, Hitomi. Like, the Alchemist isn't doing too much for you here. And you want to have a fight to spend with your investigator. Uh, crane, crane flop is awful because like you're not gonna play. You don't want to play the challenger. You're not first player. Scoot is irrelevant at that point in the game. Well, you can use it to break a holding without throwing cards, but like you have two cards. So. Yoshi, you don't have the favor, and you need a military body, not a political one. Yeah, cr crane board is awful. Yeah, last mystic would have using the last mystic on an ornate fan would have been good too. I agree. Um, he might have kept it to avoid Dragon player playing a reprieve on the scheme issue. But I'm not sure it's better because then the reprieve is going to go on the investigator if relevant. So, not sure it's a win-win situation. I think it's a lose-lose situation actually. You should have played it anyway. Well, maybe not, because you need you need Dragon Board to be a bit smaller this turn. Okay, we see Alchemist to Fate. Um, yeah, okay. And we see Dragon Passing rather than extending Mitsu. I kind of disagree with that choice, but... Because it's possible that you're going to have problems. I, I don't know his hand, but it's possible that you're going to have problems breaking this turn. And then the game might drag a bit. I'm pretty confident into Dragon winning there. Okay, another skirmisher. So there is the double covert. Um, you still have no finger of jade for your Mitsu there. So you're going to need to go kind of all in because you know your Mitsu going to get bowed. He's, st he's still a Void Fist industry there. So he, he can pull off the Void Fist from the discard. And like he, he's a. Uh, both and home generator. Okay, so I guess you covered. Uh, Yoshi for sure, and then what? The soloist, because the thing about Kazin is that he's gonna get in with the favored ones anyway. So. Oh, finally, we saw the spyglass on Kaysen. Like that, that was about time. Okay, defending with a soloist, and we're going to see Kaysen going in. Revolts both the Mitsu, no surprise there. Yep, Kaysen mounted in. Um, Do you spend the fate to remove Casino no token here? Three, four. That would put him in four at four instead of six. It could be good for incoming duels. Because you really don't want him to to win the duel there. Like, uh, well, you can always choose Mitsu for the duel and then you just beat five and and do not care. And Crane can't activate his stronghold, so that's fine. But there is the duel is training though. But then the two glory, the two, the two honor, the two glory bonus does not matter on that one. Cause like you're gonna target something that you can go anyway. <clears throat> Um, Dragon can play at least one Void Fist here from the discard using Mitsu ability. 
and he can use Mitsu as a black. I disagree with this uh this seal because you what happened? That's a dualist training ability, okay? Against Raitu. So Raitu is both. We see a reprieve, and so that's the third one card played. So now we're going to see Void Fist happening. If he has two Void Fist, it's game over. If he has one, and he has one because he has Mitsu and the Void Fist in the discard, that's also likely going to be game over. I always like to look level to cover the, the Kaizen so that he cannot. Uh, so that he has to use the mount first and cannot use it afterwards. Uh, but Void Fist bows, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh yeah, but there is Gage in custom potentially. So yeah, that, that was a good choice actually. Yep, there is the Void Fist on Kazin, and I think that's game. Like, we're not gonna see a console there. I think that's game over. Because no, the Alchemist can just turn on herself. And it puts you in breaking range. And you probably still have stuff to attach to her. Oh, for shame. Okay, I, I think you will know her anyway, just in case there is another for shame. Yeah, there it is. I disagree. Yeah, I think that seal shouldn't have played on the right to go. I think it should have went on the, the alchemist. But... I guess as a dragon, you still have a few attachments in hand that you can drop and, and use your stronghold for. Yeah, there is a kind of so it's breaking. So there is at least a plus one for a stronghold. You see a Wayfinder trying to save that province. But it's still breaking because Kayana is too strength. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there is another Void Fist. Uh, not sure about the Void Fist on the Soloist because he's not contributing. He's a courtier though, so might be afraid of the second for shame. Uh, two have been played. I think there is only two in the deck, actually. No, there's three of them, so yeah. Might be afraid of the third portion. You still have the strong gold pump here, so I think crane loss. There is no more military boost in crane deck. So unless he has something else to play from hand. And uh I mean it was two for Miki and three Wayfinders, so there is nothing else to play from hand. Yeah, I think it's over. My like, crane doesn't have an answer for that. Also, the time discrepancy is just huge. Like, Dragon has 26 minutes left when Crane has only 8. Yeah, there we see the Dragon win. Very nicely played game from the Dragon player. A few mistakes on the on the Crane side. Most most disturbing one being like not playing the Spyglasses. Well, thank you very much for watching the game and uh, see you on the next one.